Ah, g'day. Welcome to Farming Life Australia. This video is a review of the Makita cordless fan. This is the product number here, DCF203Z. Makita make a smaller fan than this and a larger one. I chose the middle one because I thought it'd suit my needs. The big one was just a bit too big for a lot of my applications. Okay, so what's in the box? Hmm. What's this? It has an AC adapter in the box. I'm not sure what that's for, mate. Maybe you can run it off 240 volt power. It'd be really good if you could, because a lot of the time around the house or the workshop, I could use 240 volt power and I wouldn't have to worry about batteries. Well, here's the animal here. I haven't had a look at this yet. This fan can move this way and it can also oscillate. Battery obviously goes in down here. It has some controls here. They claim what sort of running time you get out of it, but I'll actually do a test on that and see what you actually get out of it. The other thing you do get is an instruction book, which I haven't read yet. I have read the book now and I think I understand how to work it. I'm going to insert this genuine Makita battery. It's one of the old ones I've got for me tools. And it's only a three amp hour. But what I will do is all the tests I do, I'll use the same battery and I'll fully charge it each time when it runs low. So that way we should get a standard to go by. Quite straightforward. This power button will start the fan when you press it. So that fan is now on the lowest setting. To adjust the speed, you press the fan button, and if you press it once, it will go up one step to the middle position. And then if you press it again, it will go to its highest setting. Now, there's a button here with a picture of the fan, and this will make it oscillate. So if you press that once, it will oscillate. Press it again and it will stop. Down here there's a timer. One hour when you press it once. Press it again it will go on to two hours. Press it again it will go on to four hours. And if you press it again, it will just go on to continuous running time. The fan can be tilted at lots of different angles. It'll go to straight up to not quite straight down. And it will still oscillate when it is at different angles. And you can change speeds, everything's the same. Whatever angle you've got it on doesn't affect any of the operations of the fan. On top of the fan, there's these two marks. What they're for is to line the shroud up or the guard up when you take the front of it off to clean the shroud and the blades. To go about taking the front shroud off the fan, there's a screw here you must release first and you just turn it anti-clockwise until you feel no resistance whatsoever on the screw then turn your fan around and then turn the shroud anti-clockwise till the two little marks line up and then you can remove it to clean the fan blades and the shroud to put it back on you line the two marks up and make sure that the shroud is fitting and then turn it clockwise until it locks. Then turn your fan around and do your retaining screw up till it's firm. Another feature, on the back of your fan there's a hole and you can see the back end of your battery. If you press the button you can actually see what your battery value is. On the other side of the fan there's a little cover, you can take that out and that's where you can put in your AC adapter. Okay, we've got a full battery, freshly charged. I'm going to put it in the fan and see how long it will run for. Right. 
I'm going to run it at full speed with the oscillator on and see how long it operates for. The fan just stopped and it says 3 hours, 10 minutes and 17 seconds. I've recharged the same battery again and I'm going to run it till it stops again and this time I've got the fan on the middle setting or the medium setting. Again this is with the oscillator on. I think it would use more power that way. On the middle setting it stopped at 4 hours 25 minutes. I'll now go on and put it on the lower setting and see how long it runs for. I've started the clock and now I'll put the oscillator function on and see how we go. Okay, it ran for 6 hours and 46 minutes on the low setting. I just got the book here and I'm just reading. It does have some stated times for batteries and what you expect to get out of them. It's pretty hard for me to tell what condition my battery's actually in, but I'll read out what it actually says in this book, and I don't disbelieve it because the actual times they give seem to correspond with the times that I, I got out of my old battery. It gives a battery here, BL1460B. On low, they reckon you get 770 minutes. On medium, they say you get 445 minutes. And on high, 275 minutes. They've got another battery here, which is a, which is a BL1860B. And for that, they say on low, you get 1,155 minutes. On medium, they reckon 700 minutes. And on high, they reckon 430 minutes. And I'm just going to go and have a look at my battery and see what number it actually has got on it. My battery is actually an 1830B and this talks about a BL1860B. The 30 and the 60 I'd say is 3 amp hour and 6 amp hour. The BL1460B I'd say is a 14 volt battery because you can actually run it on a 14 volt battery if you want to. I'll just do a few sums and see if that 1860B, if the numbers seem to correspond to double what I got out of my 1830. Bear in mind my battery is a few years old. I've got the figures worked out for the test that I did compared to what's stated in the book. They say on high with a 6 amp hour battery, you should get 430 minutes. Now I used a 3 amp hour battery and got 190 minutes. On medium, the, it stated in the book is 700 minutes, I got 265 minutes. Stated in the book on low is 1,155 minutes. I got with my 3 amp hour battery, not the 6 amp hour battery they tested, 406 minutes. One thing you will notice is that all my readings are a bit less than half of what's stated. My battery has got 3 amp hours, the battery they did the test with is 6 amp hours, so that's half. Also I had the oscillator on, which will use more power obviously, it's got to use something to drive it, and I don't really know the condition of the battery, it's certainly not a new battery, it's years and years old. So look, all things considered, I think that those times in that book would be quite achievable with new batteries. One thing we haven't checked is whether it'll run on the 240 volt mains power and I'm going to do that now. I'm going to plug the AC adapter into this power board. You'll see that the fan has no battery. I'll turn the fan around and plug the little socket into the hole. Press the on button and the fan starts up. It's on high at the moment. Press it again. It turns off. Turns on, okay, that's normal. Press the fan button, it drops back to the lowest setting. Medium setting high. It oscillates exactly the same. Well, she's a beauty. I think this Makita fan's gonna be just the thing for me. I can take it wherever I need to go where there's no power. I could have it at home in the workshop and run it off the mains power. The one thing that I don't know about is the longevity of the thing and how long it'll last. Obviously I don't have any way to check that in a short period of time. However, Makita Tools have got a really good name and they haven't let me down in the past so I'd say that will not be an issue. Thanks a lot for watching this edition of Farming Live Australia. See you next time.